another video. I am the Starman and you might notice that for a change I'm not in the lockdown garden. I'm actually on the promenade here in uh, sunny Blackpool although it's not really sunny today. I'll just pan around so you can see where I am. Got the Imperial Hotel behind me. We're on the North Promenade. Here is the Irish Sea out here. Now this video is all about amazing not to loosen clouds. Now I'm going to hopefully use some of this landscape to try to describe how you can see them. And um, just down here we've got uh, the famous Blackpool Tower behind me. Hope we can see that. And also we've got some nice views of Wales as well over there. You can see Wales over there. Okay, so now, not to loosen clouds. Have you ever heard of not to loosen clouds? Well, to be quite honest, I hadn't heard about them until maybe about 2013. Um, the thing about not to loosen clouds is they are kind of a meteorological phenomena rather than a, an astronomical phenomena. It's a bit hard to say that, actually. But the two um, things tend to cross over meteorology and astronomy they tend to cross over a little bit so i'm going to talk about them because they are absolutely amazing as you can see from the um the intro images that i showed at the start of the video they're incredible um structures that you can see in the night sky they glow and what they are is they're actually ice particles formations of ice particles very high up in the um atmosphere in the mesosphere which is very close to the edge of space now another thing about these not to loosen clouds is that um, they're only really visible or they only tend to be visible at latitudes between 50 degrees and 70 degrees so if you live outside those latitudes then the likelihood of you seeing them is not that great i'm not saying that you can't see them if you live at a lower latitude say something like 45 degrees 40 to 5, i don't know it's possible that you could see a, a display lower but you're more likely to see them at latitudes between 50 and 70 degrees now the latitude where i am here in blackpool is 53 degrees and it's just ideal for seeing these uh, not to loosen night shining clouds Right, okay, I've actually moved a little bit further up the promenade just to get out of that wind and I'm actually in a little park here um, just by the uh, Savoy Hotel, just a little bit more out of the wind. So not to loosen clouds are a phenomena that you can see at this time of year between May, to the middle of May to the middle of July, sorry, um, and you tend to see them when the sun is at a certain position below the horizon. So. At this time of year, at the latitude where I am, 53 degrees, we have a constant twilight from now on until late July. And the reason for that is because the sun does not set low enough below the horizon for the sky to darken fully. So we are in constant astronomical twilight, certainly close to the solstice. And it's this reason why these clouds tend to show up because the sun is at a certain angle below the horizon and it lights them up 
from underneath so we sometimes get to see them now they are very very unpredictable now to have a good chance of seeing these noctilucent clouds you need to go out around about an hour say to an hour and a half after sunset and that's normally the time that these clouds start to show up that you start to see them come out of the twilight and they really really are amazing when you see them coming out i mean you've seen the pictures at the start of the video they are absolutely incredible now maybe you've seen them and mistaken them for something else because they can be mistaken for high altitude cirrus but these are definitely not high altitude cirrus these are very very different now i'm just going to go back onto the promenade now just to sort of describe where you need to look and how you can actually find these not losing clouds so the way to find them is to look towards the northwest where the sun sets so as the sun goes down it gets lower and lower and you start to get twilight in the sky and if you look over this way towards the northwest this is where you're going to start to see the clouds light up if they show up now if you look enough and it's a strong display the clouds will move across the sky as the sun goes down below the northern horizon and you'll still see them towards the north as the night goes on now if you stay up till the morning the sun will start to come back up again and now we're looking towards the northeast and you might see the display brighten again in the northeastern sky so i think you can see as well that these clouds <clears throat> have some pretty amazing shapes as well and um, really this video is just about letting you know about them really and hoping hoping that you can get out there and see them and try to photograph them yourself because they are pretty spectacular and another thing as well is that uh, you don't need to be anywhere really dark to see them i photographed them from in the middle of town i'll just show you some pictures on the screen now um so it doesn't matter where you are you can see these clouds if the display is uh, bright enough so what i'll probably do is if i if i happen to catch some of these clouds in the next month or so um, i'm going to do another vlog on them um while i'm actually capturing them and the settings for capturing them are well you just need a long exposure something like 10 seconds it doesn't need to be too long um i would probably say exposure wise you're probably looking at um maybe 10 seconds iso 800 the fastest aperture you can get f4 something like that you'll get a decent picture of these clouds it doesn't need to be a really long exposure with a high iso or anything like that if it's a bright display they'll show up on the camera so that's it for this video um i hope you can get out and have a look for these um and hopefully spot some of these not to loosen clouds um and capture them on a photograph uh, like i say i will be doing a vlog on them if i happen to catch them and you can look forward to that uh, as i go along and thanks for watching this video and i'll see you again on the next one